Hi there, welcome to my channel. My name is Lydia Nabalayo, aka Miss Naba. And in today's episode, today's episode is going to be an extremely special episode, an episode really close to my heart. And you may be asking why. It's because today is my 21st birthday. I have officially turned 21 years. I am so excited. I feel like 21 is the perfect age for adulting and not 18. Whatever I was doing when I was 18 and 19 and 20, I don't know what that was. Right now it's like the age where you start using your common sense and you start reasoning and all that. So first, before we get started, today is the final day to get my book for free. If you have not emailed me and asked for the book, I really don't know what you're waiting for because after today you will not be getting this book for free. I will be uploading it on Amazon so you'll have to pay in order to get the book and the book is really awesome my friends really love it the people that have been sending me emails really love it first of all major gratitude to you people me i thought no one would be interested in the book and then like the moment i've dropped the video and i'm telling people uh the book is out and you can get it for free i get a lot of emails and i have really amazing friends who give me like live it's like a live commentary and they're telling me wow i love this i love this i love that that is really nice you people bless my heart extremely fast i will just shout out to laura niha ah hey that girl is the one that has really given me sight with writing this book because when you're writing a said that writing a book is like removing your clothes and standing naked in front of someone and hoping that that person loves you with all your cellulite and all your stretch marks and all your imperfections and all that so it's a really scary moment not only the writing but the but the the writing and the sharing it it is real it is a really scary moment because what if people don't like it what if i have wasted all this vulnerability for people not to like it so people commenting and telling me how the book is nice and how it's teaching them this and this and it's inspiring them that is on another level for me thank you so much to all of you who have read that book and Stay tuned for more because now there'll be more and more and more and more. Another thing, since today is my birthday, I have an I have an amazing thing I have in store for you people. Yes, I may not be able to throw a party because one, I don't have money, and two, I am in my mother's house, and three, I am in Vihiga County. But together with DJ Jam Hits, I personally curated my own mix of my favorite music gospel music because i feel there's a lot of secular music secular music mixes out there but sometimes you just want to vibe with god and have fun so i have curated a mix for you people together with dj jam hits and it is awesome it is awesome i listened to it by the time i was like in the third song i stopped it and i told him it's perfect so whether you believe it or not it's perfect and you should go check it out anyways enough talking now let's get into today's video as you can see from the title already today we are starting over it is a new year a new me we say that every birthday and we say that every new year but that is different and this is only connected to my content creation side of my life so what exactly do i mean by starting over what i mean by starting over is me i'm done playing with people's rules you find that there are rules that have been set when it comes to content creation when you want to become a content creator i have noticed you have to first of all like look for people's opinions and see what people are saying about this and that and for me that is what i did i searched for accomplished content creators and the one thing that they tell you is that you need to have a niche and i know you people noticed that you'd see one video of mine is about fitness another is about food another is about relationships another is do about what and i was trying to like maintain it on that line but then again it was a little bit hard 
So basically for me what I'm saying when I say I am starting over is that now that I have learned these roles like a pro, I think it's about time I have to break them now like an artist. Because I don't think there's any great person, I don't think there's any person that we look up to nowadays that has gone by the roles. And if there are, then it's very few of them. And me, I really don't want to be among the people following the rules. I'm even asking myself, when did I start following the rules? Because it's depressing. It is extremely de depressing. And then another thing is you find yourself, um, you have a lot of things you want to see. But then again, this is not something that um, people are going to enjoy and in as much I'm not being materialistic or anything but if you have a YouTube channel viewership really boosts your mood because for me around two months ago three months two and a half months ago I was at 69 subscribers and I was like what exactly am I doing actually when you watch my videos I started in January I think 24th and I didn't post anything anything the whole of February because my expectations were I have a lot of contacts. I have a lot of friends. I am apparently a lady of the people. Then these people, my 500 contacts are going to translate into my subscribers. And then again, they're going to translate into my viewership. But the case is different. The case is different. Um, I have seen myself like basically growing yes it's not a quick pace but i am comfortable and i am happy with the growth that is happening but then again that is not the case not the case so i found myself trying to create content that people are going to love and yes that is one thing about content creation you want to create content that people love but is it something that i love because then again this is a path i'm choosing out of my purpose out of my passion and if it does not align to my purpose then why am i doing it because for me i am done with um seeking people's opinions or trying to please people or all that and first of all um i hope i'm making sense because i'm just talking and this is one of the many videos that i'll be talking unscripted i am not used to that i am used to having having written down what i want to talk so my ideas are all over but then again this is also me practicing public speaking only that i'm talking in front of a camera but one day you know one day after because i know i'm going to be a great person and even you amen so uh we have to practice these things. One day I'll be ambushed to just give a speech and it has to be nice. So let me try these things. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, what? What was I saying? Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't know what I was saying. I was talking about content creation and how I want to become my own person. Because that is how it's people. Ah, okay. No. Oh, yes, I was talking about passion and purpose. Now for me, I think my discovery of what my purpose was, I discovered it, let's see, last year. And if you have read my book, then you have seen it in the introduction. And TV is one of the biggest channels in Kenya. And they were, they had this segment called Battle in My Mind, where they were covering the lives of people who had committed suicide. And I thought, yeah, people who had committed suicide. Okay, not their, their lives, like they were following what happened before, what might have led them. They were talking to their friends, their families, and people around them, just trying to figure out what exactly happens. And I remember sitting down and asking my, and, and just thinking, I might be walking in the streets of Nairobi. We are a lot of people, but you do not know what those people are going through. People are going through a lot of stuff. And if there is something that society has managed to do, is to teach us that your emotions don't matter. Your emotions are not a big deal. Just let them pile, let them pile, let them pile. But at some point it will come out with a lot of pressure. But society has said, hide it. So you find these people are not ready to speak about what they are going through. And for me, I had promised myself should I ever venture into the path of content creation it should be something that is going to bless someone yes people want to see me dancing that is a really nice thing I am a dancer and I love that and or maybe 
people want to see about anything like basically what what a lot of people post and what a lot of people enjoy but then again one fear that i have is that should i put content out there and i am not going to help anyone for me i think it is never about um, the sales it is about the souls and that is one fear that i usually have that will i put out a video and no one will be blessed yes people will be entertained but i won't twitch at a thing in your heart and make you maybe want to be a better person or want to open up or want to leave something leave a path that you know is not right for you and just basically becoming a better person and i feel like that is a path that i had forgotten and slowly by slowly i was morphing into wanting to please people but i don't feel like that is what people do honestly for me even when it comes to content creators nowadays if you're going to talk something i'm going to subscribe to your channel and be watching all your videos if you're going to be talking something that will bless me I don't want to be entertained and use my bundles and that's it. I honestly don't want that. And that is not what I want for you people, if you get. So, basically what I'm saying, because I don't want this video to be long, um, I am going to become my own person. I am not going to follow rules. Again, who said I have to post videos on Monday? I was even telling my friends that yesterday, yes, consistency is a good thing, but sometimes I just have ideas in my head and they disappear. I'm like, I have to talk about this, but then it just disappears. Or I won't now talk about it because the sake I had about it then, I no longer have it right now. So you guys should even be ready for um, very spontaneous posts yeah if I feel something in my heart I'm going to speak about it because for me I don't feel like my purpose is entertaining people and earning okay yes at some point I'd really love to start earning from YouTube but before that comes I have to I don't want it to come I don't want to work towards that I want to work towards people that is how legacies are left if i'm making sense yeah i think i'm i think this is the end uh i want to see if there's something i've forgotten but then again i don't think there's anything but yeah thank you so much for watching this video and from today henceforth do not be surprised when my videos are extremely spontaneous um because me i want to speak out what's in my mind i want to speak up my opinions because i feel like what i am a very wise person yes i know i am a very wise person i have been speaking in places and people are just like yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay that done but i feel like what the opinions that i have are sometimes are sometimes helpful considering the fact that for me all my opinions are based on christ yeah because again i am a believer of christ i cannot go away from i have to make sure that everything that i do is glorifying him because then again what's the essence of life if you're having fun and you're not glorifying god it's a sad life yeah anyway thank you so much for watching this video i hope you have enjoyed it give it a thumbs up if you have liked it and stay tuned for next week's video to more spontaneity and breaking rules and we're going to do this together yeah bye bye